For the interior design, our next guest would have a field day. Certainly, she's one of the biggest TV personalities in Canada, an incredible businesswoman, and uh, there's lots you may not know about her. I'm talking about Debbie Travis. She'll join us in just a second. First, here's Debbie's bio. You know, for a woman with no formal design training, Debbie Travis is either one hell of a bluffer or she has some seriously natural talent. With 11 Gemini nominations, a slew of hit series, a syndicated design advice column, eight best-selling books, and appearances on Oprah, Regis, and Kelly, and E.T., I'm gonna go with talent. I think you did a beautiful Thank job. Thank you. Just beautiful. Thank you. Travis was born in England, went to art college before working as a model for six years. Look at these pictures. After being in front of the camera, Travis got behind it to work as a freelance TV editor and producer. Then, 1985, she met a Canadian at the Cannes Festival, married him two weeks later, and moved to Montreal. Things really got rolling for Debbie when her friends saw the work she did painting her own home. One thing led to another, and voila, a painted house was born. This is the painted house, and today we'll come to the fireman's rescue. It was also the start of a media empire that she had built with her husband, Hans. They've produced all her hit shows. Give me Travis also has a paint and housewares line, and the second season of her latest program, From the Ground Up, has just started its run. I am looking for chief designer for my most exciting venture to date. I am launching Debbie Travis Designed Condominiums and Homes. Oh. Yeah. Get out of town. <laughs> I like that girl. Get out of town. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Debbie Travis. Wow, you're building homes? Building homes. Um, haven't started yet, but that's why I need a chief designer, because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically. That's really going to make the, the buyers feel comfortable. Yeah, I know. <laughs> God, where, where does the roof go? Um, so we're going to be kind of really working on smaller projects, like small condos, uh, smaller homes, which I think you need really a bit more thought kind of going into it, really, than the multi million dollar home. Well, you can, I mean, you've been doing this for. for I think you were, you've been doing this longer than you, the explosion <laughs> of, of these shows on television. Well, I think we were the first design show probably in North America, and I remember doing an interview where somebody sounds, said, it was a radio, said, oh, this sounds about as interesting as watching paint dry, and then crying all the way through the interview, going, oh, you know. Well, but, technically, they're watching paint dry. Yeah, well, thank you, yeah, I guess it is. But, <laughs> you know, it, I think it just hit a core, because I was kind of, I guess, making it up as I went along, and saying, oh. And, you know, when you get an audience, when people go, oh, my God, you're so good, you think, wow, maybe I could try making it look like stone. Maybe I could try. Mm -hmm. So it, it just really, it made, I think, mums at home say, you know, I don't need any talent. Um, I could just get a sponge. Don't do that anymore. But, um, you know, and a ruler. And, a, you know, and I could do Johnny's bedroom on a Saturday afternoon. So but, it hit a core. Well, and I think what's interesting is the fact that you don't have any d formal design training. You got kicked out of school when you were a kid, right? <laughs> yeah, thank you. How old are you? 15. Who, who kicked you out? The nuns. Wicked. Yeah. Well, you know, you, I think I just, you know, you go in those, I don't know if you do it, but in England, you go to, um, you know, career day. And it would be, in my day, it would be, could either be a nurse, um, a secretary, or get married. Mm -hmm. And me, it was like, you know what, Debbie, just, you might as well go now. And it really was, because if you left school, you went and worked on the market stalls, right. and it was out of there. But I actually lied to my parents for a year. I never told them that I wasn't in school. So I would go in the morning in my uniform, bye, Mum, you know, and <laughs> go and do my thing. Did you go do your thing? Yeah, go and, I don't know, meet That's some boy somewhere. Be unbelievable, in the <laughs> yes. Do you think you're I wasn't very well behaved, but I, I left home at, uh, Fought properly at 16 and a half, got the bus to London and did, you know, what everybody does, stood there with a suitcase going, right, where do I go now? And I actually went to the worst, I went, there's an area of London called Fulham, which is quite, quite uh, expensive now, but in those days it was really, you know, a bit dodgy. And uh, I remember standing there in the street going, oh, God, it's not that nice. They make a big fuss about this city, you know, and I was in completely the wrong area, you know. <laughs> I wasn't even in London, I was like an hour outside. God. Can't even see a tower block, you know. It's not pretty but, at all. No, no. So it was, you know, it was hard, hard days. But I'm from the north of England, and in the north where, you know, where the Beatles are from and people like that, we're very gutsy. Mm -hmm. They're farmers or miners, and uh, you know, we're, we're we're tough little cookies, and and you just make a go of it. But do you think of? Uh... Like you've obviously achieved a level of success in your career that a lot of people don't get the, don't get to have through hard work, through through luck, through everything that happens. But how much differently your life would have turned out if you didn't 
Think I, I stayed could... in school. Yeah. <laughs> My yeah. father still thinks I'm in school. <laughs> um, yeah, I could have been a doctor or something, you know. Yeah. I was so dreading meeting your other guest because I thought, he's so brilliant, that man. He's so intelligent. What if he asks, you know, asks you a, 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 a normal question, you know? He probably would have asked you what kind of drapes he should have in his yeah. house. No, I don't think so. You know, at, at parties, when, when someone finds out he's a doctor and someone goes, hey, can you take a look at this for a second? Yeah. Uh, do you have All to... Yeah, that sucks for you, All doesn't it? All the time. It? It's like, I've been to parties where there's been paintbrushes on the table and they still do it. And it's like, <laughs> oh, friends? will call you up and I think in a way it's women and all the girls who know this here women aren't the best friends to other women working and the reverse you know because if you're working you're guilty that you're not at home with the kids mm -hmm. if you're at home with the kids you're guilty you're not working so we never quite get it right as women and they will say things and and they'll call me up now saying so, but, you know, could you just not really good friends but you know people who kind of know you and they say mm -hmm. you couldn't come around and, and just give me some advice you know and you're like on what? And said, well, I can't use a wallpaper or whatever. And, you know, you work out of your house, do you? And you're like, no. You know, like, I'm in the basement, you know, yeah. with the cell phone. Um, so I think sometimes you do get those bit cutting remarks, and that's have you, tough. Have you, has it been, like, you've built this empire. You and your husband have empire. done this thing. <laughs> hey, you're building homes, right? You're building homes. You've got, I mean, you walk into Canadian Tire now, yeah. and it's the Debbie Travis store. You know what I did? On Saturday, thank you very much. Somebody said the other day, you should have your picture on the money. You know, don't tell them that. But I, <laughs> On the is, Canadian Tire money? Yeah, yeah. You have to get that. <laughs> this is absolutely true. On Saturday, my sister-in-law has just bought her first home and she's very nervous. And so I went, I said, I'll, I'll come in. So we're wandering around the tire, getting shower curtains and things like that. And you completely forget it's your stuff. And there was a woman standing by the towels, right? And she's, like a lot of women, completely confused. You know, what do I do? What do I do? And uh, I said, you know what I would do? And she turned around. She looked at me with such... I don't know whether it was fear or, you know, and she ran out of the store. And she just... <laughs> That's how to sell products, scare them, you know. And she just... Oh! And it was like, it, you know, I think they see the commercials and they see you on the telly, and mm -hmm. then you're suddenly helping them pick stuff. And it was just... I was there, so I thought, well... What the hell, why not? She's probably regretting it now. now you, hey, you've been compared to Martha Stewart, but you don't like that comparison? Do you like the comparison? Am I just the jail part? You know what it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Um... Well, I think she started it all off. You know, uh, she did an amazing, amazing job. And, I mean, she's huge. I, I can't compare to her. You know, she's, she really is an empire. But um, she, I think she gets a bad rap because of, you know, she's a woman. Mm -hmm. And we don't like women who are successful. We, you're a guy, you don't know. And, and you know, you get to I a certain level. I love women who are successful. <laughs> it's easier on me, are you kidding me? <laughs> I know more about George than most of you. Hey, do you remember when we first yes. met? Well, we met at the Gemini's, right? right? The last Gemini's. And George and I are of talkers, right? So we're backstage, completely forgetting there's like a thousand people waiting to have their drinks and stuff, sitting out waiting for the awards. And we're talking, talking away. So this guy comes out, he says, you've got to hurry up, go. So they threw a mic on. And I'm not a very dressy person. I don't wear a lot of dresses because I'm just more comfortable in pants. So I've got this evening gown on, very, very tight. And no straps. And no straps. All right, no straps. I did have a bra on. And I'm standing there. We go out and George goes like this. My whole top came down. Right to pull your top down. And we're opening the, award, you know, the awards. And I'm completely... Oh, 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 no, she made it sound like I pulled her top down. I was pulling her top up. Your top was coming down, and you're like, so when we go on stage, can you please pull my top over my breast? And I was like, and I had this moment, I looked at you, and I went, yeah. But you see, all... I can do that. All, all a woman cares about is, do I have a nice, you know, my best undies on, uh -huh. you know, where you don't have your school bra on or something like that with the holes in. So that's all I cared about. But I, I, I got to on. call my mother and say, you will never <laughs> guess whose breasts I protected today. <laughs> And it was, it was Debbie Travis. The, the, I, I, See, the, my kids just went, you know, yeah. it's so uncool. Oh, How could God. you do that to poor George? I don't think I, I think it was fine. Uh, I got through okay. The one thing I've noticed with all these design shows, I watch the design shows, I like them, I, I'm very big into modern homes, I like, you know, Dwell cool. is my favorite magazine, this is my thing. But um, what it's done is it's, it seems to have brought the lavish homes, the elegant homes, to people who can never afford them. Oh, and in little ways, you can start to add to your yeah. house. Well, that's in a way, that's kind of what the new show's about because the, the design business is quite snooty. And like I said, I have no qualifications and I learned it as I, you know, I go along. And I'll do your house if you want. You know, yeah, take that wall down. It's no problem. Um, but you kind of do learn as you go along. But, but it's that feeling of going into a really fancy clothes shop. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are quite intimidated. So I think what these shows have done over the years, and there's, you know, whole channels for these shows, is they've made us all a bit braver. Mm -hmm. Plus, then there's the DIY, you know, you can do a lot of it yourself and you know anybody I think can design you know a living room if you buy a $10,000 table I mean mm -hmm. that's easy you know it's 
saying, well, I've got no money. How do I get a cool table? How do I choose the colors? How do I do this on my own? That's where it takes talent. But when if people are going to get ready to buy the Debbie Travis homes, when is that going to come down the pipe? Where are we in that? Well, we're going to start, uh, you have to find out who the winner of the show is first, because that person, it's so hard, you have to say it very carefully, that person is uh, is going to be working alongside me. And uh, Are you going to be an ass like Donald Trump and just like, you're fired? How do you know? <laughs> are you, is, is that what it's going to be? Do you know, it's very hard because the director said a really kind of crazy thing thing to me just before I did the first elimination which I've never done before and they said just pretend you're talking to your own children so of course what do you do you crumble you know if anybody <laughs> spoke to my kids like that they'd be like Pfft. um so it's hard you've got and it's a real job and it mm -hmm. is something that will kick start you know somebody's career and last time it was a lot of money and I don't think I'll do that again you know this time you're going to work for it and yeah. and you want somebody who's clever and innovative but works as a team so they get tested not on decorating shows they get tested on real life kind of stuff and but again they've got their Prada shoes on in the mud and and how do they handle that and some Serves of them, them right don't wearing Prada <laughs> shoes in the mud it's good yeah, to see you Debbie exactly. thank you very much thank Debbie you. Travis everybody <laughs> and John, I want to come on the program today including this.